to WWM War Dog Weekly News, a production of War Dog Media. This week's top stories for War Dog Weekly News. Miami High School's FFA team has achieved a well-deserved feat. This year, they will be recognized nationally in Indianapolis, Indiana, for their outstanding accomplishments. We have a program of activities, which is a list of things in which the program completes throughout the school year. Um, some things that we did was the blood drive that was hosted at the media center and in the lecture hall. Mm -hmm. um, we also had a paddlefish research where students were able to sign up to be on a committee to clean up the Riverview Park. Uh, we also attended the paddlefish research center to learn more about paddlefish and how to harvest them. So we had quite a few different activities and events that students participated in. Um, it got us recognition, like I said, at the state and national level. So now we'll be on our way to National Convention at Indianapolis, Indiana, in which um, Tyler and Paige will be going across stage in front of thousands of people. Um, it will be live streamed and we'll be receiving an award for our program of being one of the best programs, not only at the state level, but the national level as well. This week's celebrations in War Dog Nation. Congrats to Coach Zach and Emily Gardner on the birth of their son, Rhett Christopher, our newest member of War Dog Nation. Let's celebrate with the Lady War Dog softball team for a job well done, earning regional and district honors. This was the first showing at state for the Lady War Dog softball team since 1997. Congratulations, ladies. Thank you for representing War Dog Nation so well. Congrats to the junior high and high school choir members who made all district choir honors. Job well done. A War Dog shout out to Whitney McGee for earning District 1 Student Council Advisor of the Year. Congrats to our junior high cross country team, especially to the ones that meddled at the Vertigus Valley Conference cross country meet. Congrats to Jaden Corbin, who earned a um, Arts and Humanities Council scholarship this week. Let's celebrate with Landon Warren and Dylan Hodgel for a job well done because they stepped up and did the war dog thing. We'll have more celebrations next week, so keep doing the war dog way. 10 second trivia. Which holiday has the top candy sales? Is it Valentine's Day, Halloween, Christmas, or Easter? Answer is Halloween. Happy Halloween, War Dogs. On October 21st, junior high students celebrated fall sports at an all-sports assembly. MJHS cheerleaders showcased their competition routine. Two students, Dylan Hoggle and Landon Warren, received all-sports passes for doing a good deed. The assembly ended with a spirit competition with the freshmen winning the spirit stick.
Hold me close, I want to feel your love Together we are free Thank you for watching Wardog Weekly News, a student production of Wardog Media.